strange uh, environment and it's such a strange business. Nothing, not, no normal rules apply and anything can happen. And anything and everything has happened to the divine Miss M, who's made a career out of brazen, larger-than-life characters with a flair for the outrageous. I think of the, the actresses, the great actresses who are really crazy, as kind of, you know, rare, exotic birds in our humdrum lives. Midler's life is hardly humdrum. With the success of films such as The First Wise Club, this singer-actress turned producer has found a formula for staying sane in an insane business. I do a lot of work on myself, and so I think that, I mean, as long as I don't fall and break anything, I feel that my spirit will remain intact, and that's really all I care about. Midler's the first to admit that being divine doesn't mean being sublime. Uh, everyone's intriguing to me. The only one who um, was not intriguing to me is me. I'm a pretty neurotic person, and I'm quite insecure. I think we all of us are insecure. That's why we're actors. Otherwise, you know, I mean, we'd be, you know, we'd be investment bankers or something. <laughs> That's what makes us interesting, I think, is, the, is that, that sh constant shifting back and forth between great self-confidence and, and, and total and utter uh, terror. One thing Midler is utterly confident about is her power to produce strong female-driven films. Along with partner Bonnie Bruckheimer, her all-girl production company is an estrogen festival where girls just want to have fun. I mean, you can't really be silly around guys. They don't like to be silly, but girls are an, uh, another breed entirely. All Girl Productions is certainly a breed apart from Hollywood's old boys club. And Bet and Bonnie are bent on producing projects they are both proud of. Dream Project is... Uh, what would it be? It would be a hilarious... hilarious. Uh, it would be hilari a hilarious comedy that... Like this one. This was a kind of a dream project. That old feeling actually was a dream project. Although Midler's Hollywood dreams have come true, she still strives for self-expression in her choice of roles. I'm trying to show my, my soul and my spirit, which are probably the same thing, and, and also a, a, a certain amount of vulnerability, too. This divine diva knows that maybe one day the time will come when her muse has been used. And if it does...